What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Pokey Hall. We have a very fun episode for y'all. We have actually a good friend of mine that uh, told me about a little collection of his that he wanted to show off and we are going to definitely hop into that and we got some vintage cards that I'd love to show off on the channel. but. Um, also got some Yu-Gi-Oh product that we're going to hop into first and then end it off with the Pokemon opening as well with that collection sandwiched right in between. So let us check out what we have for Yu-Gi-Oh tonight. We have some Eternity Codes. We got Toon Chaos, which is going to be pretty fun. Some nostalgia there. And then we have another one of the uh, Dragons of Legends. Um, first edition box which just came out so hopefully we can get one of those um, really cool variants the hundred dragon is what we're looking for in here this wants to get into focus um, and then we got two out of three of those collectible dice already so hopefully we can get three out of three tonight so we'll start off with this box actually with those mega packs so 18 cards in um, a pack we got two of those. So let's see if we can get that third color of dice first. That'd be cool if we can get the third one. A complete set of that. Alright, so we have like the the teal and like the gray one. Let's see what we got here. Oh, we got like the teal bluish again. Okay. Next time maybe. And for the variant card we have. Oh, there it is! The hundred dragon. This is the most expensive, I think, of the variants that you can get from this box. And of course, Focus just wants to be a little dingus. But I believe the 100 Dragon. Um, 100 Dragon from Yu-Gi-Oh. Okay, so, you know, this is only like a two to three dollar card but for the promo that's a given in this it's not too shabby and it's sealed people love sealed shit of stuff I don't know if I should be swearing on here but I did mark it not for kids so <laughs> alright let's get into these mega packs now we want that dark magician girl that'd be fun Alright, in the focus, Snow, Plow, Hustle, Rustle. They really cram a lot of words on the top of Yu-Gi-Oh cards sometimes. There's a lot going on in the background, so it's going to be hard to pick up. Alright, here we go. Flower, Cardian, Zebra, Grass with Moon. Sometimes they're like tongue twisters, and I feel like it's really just testing me. Prediction Ritual, Raid Raptor... Berserker Soul, Sabatiel the Philosopher's Stone, Roulette Spider, Claw of Ermos. That looks awesome. Whoa. Number 24, Dragula's the Vampiric Dragon. And sometimes they're very redundant as well. It's hard to pick up because that dark lettering is so hard to read. Dark Magician Girl the Dragon Knight. Yo, there we go. Let me... Dark. I'm live looking up prices as well. Dark Magician Girl the Dragon Knight. 
let's just see this. This is the purple with purple lettering because there are a few different variants for this. Um, hmm. Dragon Knight. Purple. Okay, so this is like a only a two dollar variant of it. Not too sure what the most expensive one is. I think a lot of them it's the silver lettering that is the most expensive. Red eyes burn, mirror force dragon, cyber angel dakini. Um, Alright, last pack for the mega packs. Got some World of Warcraft footage going on in the background. Zulferic for all the people that remember that one. Flower Cardian Zebra Grass again. Carbonadon. Number C73. Arcoitris. Prediction. Princess. Arrow Sil Sylph. Yeah. Ice Hand. Celestial Sword. Timaeus, the Knight of Destiny. I think that's actually, that could be a really good pull. Doom Virus Dragon with abs for days. Dark Magician Girl the Dragon Knight. So let me see. So yeah, these two, the arts are different. The, the fonts are different as well. This is a bluish. This is like a purple. That's really cool. Flower Cardian Palo Polonia Red Eyes Spirit Pacific Standard Time. Yeah, dude, this is a uh, different time zone. Sorry for the uh, different schedule tonight. Arcoitris Tetra and Preformable Uni. Okay, so those are actually some pretty solid. Um, hits because last night we got some eyes of Timaeus tonight we got dark magician girls so I'm glad we got a little nice variety from these boxes kind of covered a good amount of bases as well um, kind of want to save tomb chaos to end us off for Yu-Gi-Oh but hop into some eternity code right meow and I usually am good about cracking these blisters before stream but I was a little lazy and did not. All right, so I think Eternity Code, of course, there's some Starlight Rares that we're always looking for. But with this, you know, I think I'm just gonna, once we get the focus in, um, you know, kind of just get through them, see some cool arts. Garachi at Ignicer. I have plenty of common versions of that. It's finally nice to see some color on it. Magical Hound, King Beast, Bluebeard. Alright. Hope everyone's having a nice Saturday. Enjoying whatever today had to enjoy. Um, actually, after this Yu-Gi-Oh stuff, before we get into Pokemon, I guess that would be a good time to pick a winner for the giveaway. That'd be a good intro into Pokemon stuff for the night. Um, and then we're going to get into a vintage collection set that my buddy very graciously brought over for us to enjoy. And there's some really fun stuff in there. So we'll uh, you know, check the value on some of the um, nicer cards in that binder. Yeah, actually, if you want, that might be helpful. <laughs> Grab a few of those, too. Get some assembly line action going. Alright, 
another Marincess, Balsamic Marincess. Stairs of Nail, Buzzsaw Shack, Necroprism, Marincess Great Bubble Reef, Codebreaker Virus Swordsman, Nemesis, Red Familiar, Parallel Exceed. Alright, got two more Eternity Codes here, and then we'll crack into the Toon Chaos. Hopefully get a Toon Black Luster Soldier would be pretty fire. Pinpoint Dash, Perform a Full Turn Trooper, Buzzsaw Shark, Gravedigger's Trap Hole. That is a lovely card. I mean, it's kind of creepy, but it's just super shiny. Deep Sea Sentry, Magical Hound, King Beast, and a Bluebeard again. Alright, last one for Eternity Code. Oh, the go Godzilla. I feel like ring the bell to spawn that boss. Alright, another Balsamic. Ancient Warriors, Crimson, Resonator, Witchcrafter, Unveiling. Noctivision Dragon, Ancient War, Codebreaker, and Nemesis. Okay. Now, not first edition, but Toon Chaos Unlimited. Let's see if we can get some Eternity Dragons, some Black Lusters, some Proglios, I guess. Toon Terror, Masked Hero, Code Generator, Toon World. I think I got a Toon Kingdom in from the uh, Dragons of Legend box yesterday. That's a, that's a, you know, not expensive card, but worth a few bucks, I think. Proglio. That refuses to focus. Blackluster Soldier of Envoy. Uncommon. Toon Harpy Lady. One of the Harpy Ladies was a uh, promo a few months ago at Select Vendors. Oh. All right, Deer Breed. Come on, focus on the. Light Pulsar Dragon, Psy Frame Driver, Black Luster, Envoy of Beginning. Yo, I think this is actually because the borders are. I'm not gonna really worry about the rest of those cards. I think this is a, like a very secret variant because the borders are shiny, and usually this whole card is textured. Also, hold up. Black Luster Soldier Envoy of Beginning. This is a lovely card, dude. Look at that. All of that is textured. Should probably put a sleeve on that. Okay, so this is the secret rare. Wait, no. This is the Toon Chaos, though. I think this is the secret rare version. I'm not too sure about that, but I'm certainly gonna look it up further afterwards. Either way, that is awesome looking. Wow. Alright, so we have one more Toon Chaos, and then we're going to pick that winner. And, um, you know, if you're not here right now, I will certainly message you over on the gram. 
the uh, the details and uh, you know if you don't reply might have to move on to another winner but there will be plenty of time you don't really have to worry about that fast hero of blast witch of black forest tune terror again fast hero code generator and a tune world all right Tune world's always fun get all the all the fonts are shiny and plenty of fun cards to be had it's kind of like the evolutions of Yu-Gi-Oh well I guess any reprint is essentially nostalgic in itself but all right so to choose this winner I have a website all set up and I just have to hit a button so I thought I'd switch screens so we can all see it together so let me do that switch here I'm gonna go to this and once I hit confirm we only have seven people so there's one in seven chance you could win more people joined you know might not have had such high chances but um, I believe the question I asked also was what card do you want to see in a full art? And you know, people said Latios, more Peko, that'd be cool. Um, Absol and Metagross V full art, some tag team action, that'd be cool. A Raikou one would be awesome. A Deoxys full art, well, we should have a Deoxys box coming, so we'll get uh, some Deoxys action soon, but... Here we go, we're gonna confirm this, and whoever wins, you know, it's how the it's how it goes. Alright, let's do it. There's gonna be a five second countdown. Confirming. We're gonna start. Okay, the winner was Slapster. Alright, congratulations, Slapster. I think you, uh, we, we were chatting also already, but, um, yeah, you know, and I, it almost makes sense that you won because you wanted the Deoxys full art. Well, we have a Deoxys and Espeon box that we're going to be getting into, so it was almost like fate dictated this one, but congratulations again. I will be in touch, and, uh, yeah, you get some cool stuff. So congrats, and uh, we'll actually probably have more giveaways going on in the future. So don't you worry if you didn't win this time. There'll be plenty more opportunities. But um, now we are going to get into the collection that my buddy let us check out. And on this front page here is actually some heavy hitters. So right off the bat, we're going to see some pretty fun stuff. Clear some room. All right, so page number one, my buddy's childhood collection, which right off the bat we see, which they're unlimited, but the starters right here, here, and here. And yes, this is literally a collection that is straight out of being used maybe 20 years ago and has been wherever it was. So. You know, please feel free to comment on, uh, you know, how poorly you've taken care of your cards over the years as well, because we are all there, you know, you get back into the collection after years and you're like, oh my gosh, I can't believe this was just gathering dust. So we got the first edition, the champ, which, um, you know, I feel like these are pretty common when they don't have... Um, or there's a certain Machamp first edition that the hollow on it is different and it makes it a lot more expensive and of course in a PSA 10 would be really nice but before we move too much further ahead let's let's take a look oh pardon this is actually a base set too not unlimited base set let's take a look at some of these fellas once it wants to grab focus there we go but of course you know we love to see this fella 
big lizard himself. This is in better quality than mine, which I actually have right here. It is not a base set too, this is the unlimited one. But a little side by side. Mine's in a sleeve, which doesn't have a see-through back, and I'm just gonna leave it in there for now. But this one is out of the sleeve already. And you know, for cards as old as this, this is still pretty great quality. And to be holding them is pretty fun. Guess we'll take a look at all the starters right now. Oh, got the stories. Stories. Oh, would you look at that? Doubling up on the stories. I actually don't know why I didn't appreciate the background more. The way the green comes in from the top actually looks awesome. That is dope. These are both unlimited base set, yeah. That's very, very cool. Only two cards in there, right? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Alright, let's check out this Venusaur. <laughs> it's just the pen imprint over it. Thankfully, it doesn't feel like it affected this part of it. Like, it's not indented or anything. This is actually in really nice quality. I mean, of course, there's, you know, just the scratches of time on the hollow. But the rest of the card looks pretty nice. That's awesome. Alright, then we will peruse. We got the Ancient Mew promo from the movies back in the day. We got a few in here. Or... Oh, we got the card that comes with it, right? There's, yeah, the, uh, in the promo pack, there's, like, two pieces of cardboard, the card and that thing. I believe so. Could be wrong about that. But we got Chansey also. First edition Flareon from Jungle. That's pretty awesome. Japanese Blaine, which I've actually always loved that. Trainer Hollow. One of the few Trainer Hollows that are actually pretty cool. The Champ first again. Some. The Smeargle, which you just don't see a lot. I don't think he gets a lot of um, admiration, but it's actually a very expensive card, too, because it's just explaining anything that uh, has this kind of like glossy just mirrored background um, people really enjoy and this one has a lovely swirl if it wants to focus again just struggle of the ages it's a nice swirl right above his head on the right there if you kind of see which is pretty sick that's awesome hollow flareon from Unlimited uh, Jungle. First edition Fossil Ditto is pretty sick. Dope. It's actually like, again, just surprisingly, I don't think that expensive of a card, but I Ditto's awesome. It's a fascinating Pokemon. Dragonite, that is one of my favorite arts of all time because it has like the rainbow background. Love it. Um. This Gyarados, I think it's what, it's Giovanni's Gyarados. That looks awesome. We've got the OG Gyarados art as well. Then up here, it's not first edition. And yes, it is Japanese as well. But that's all right, because it's still awesome. It's the Lugia 
from the Neo era. Which I don't have this yet, and I've seen it at a few card shops, the Japanese version as well, but um, I think this is just awesome art. So cool. And Lugia as well is just an awesome legendary. One of the greats. like <laughs> such tight slots on this binder I don't want to damage cards oh this is a really nice find right here the shadowless first edition hollow Venusaur I don't really feel like roughhousing this so I'm gonna let that one be but that is really really nice find all the starters shadowless first edition amazing amazing cards to have doesn't matter the quality if you've had them forever. If you still have them, hold on to them. Maybe you want to cash in on them on them now. But those are some of the most expensive cards. Just gonna be flipping through the rest real quick. Not real quick, but admiring as we go. Got a first edition Knight of Queen. Trainers. I think we got commons throughout the rest, just like organized by energy. Oh, as I knock over the camera. Got some uh, Team Rocket Pokemon, which is actually probably my favorite set, actually. Really love the dark type Pokemon in it. Destiny stuff. More commons. Always love that executor. Ooh, very nice Pikachu. Not the promo one, but I think we do have some promo Pikachus in the back here. Love that Eevee as well. There we go. There's the promo Pika. A nice yellow cheeks Pikachu. Got a few back there, I believe. Teeny. All right, so that was the whole binder. And again, we'll finish staring at that Zard because why not? Everyone loves it. But that was awesome. That was a really nice treat. And uh, to continue with the Pokemon fun. But to unfortunately wind down for the night, we have the, see how much I can get on this camera, the uh, Espeon and Deoxys Tag Team Power Collections box, which I actually, I think I've just had around since my birthday. And we're gonna crack into this. And there's some fun packs in here, so hopefully we get some nice pulls. And you get some cool promo cards, so. Because who doesn't love jumbo shiny cardboard? Like this. Espeon and Deoxys jumbo card. I mean, the art is really cool, so I'm glad it's like just blown up version for us to enjoy. And then, of course, we have the. Oh, would you look at that? These promos actually have like cards on the back side of them as well. Which, I don't know if I ever noticed. Get it all out real quick. Alright, so, all the cards that are given in this are... Okay. So we have the Glaceon... Leafeon. All of these are Black Star promo. A Regigigas. Regigigigigigas. This is a hollow, but this one like really doesn't have much hollow to it. Get another promo. And we have this adorable Eevee full art promo. 
looking over his shoulder at you. That's me out in Deoxys, you know that full art. A Caracosta GX and an Umbreon in Darkrai GX. So I think with all these boxes they have the I'm just gonna take these off actually. Um most boxes come out when they release they have like a counterpart to them, like this one has the Espeon and Deoxys, and then they have the Umbi Umbreon and Darkrai um, box. But all of them have the same promo cards that are given, so there's really no difference, I think. Because even the other one has this bigger jumbo card maybe in it, and so it's like, okay, why, do, why buy both then? Like usually there's enough difference in boxes to incentivize buying maybe both. But there really wasn't this time around. So, for packs though, we have Crimson Invasion, Sun and Moon Base, another Crimson Invasion, Sun and Moon Base, Sword and Shield, Sword and Shield, Celestial Storm, and Evolutions. This will be pretty fun to open. So, we're going to start off with Crimson Invasion. And uh, this will be beginning of the end, actually, because we'll finish it off with these packs. Crimson Invasion to start out tonight. Oh, it's 11-11. Make a wish. Four packs is going to be our trick. I think, right? Yeah, it's X and Y was three. Sun and Moon is four. Yeah. All right, let's do Grass type to start off, as always. For our energy guessing. And it's going to be fighting. Typical. Mawile, Alolan Graveler, Staravia, Swinub, Eaglypoop, Houndor, Pikachu, adorable, Skidoo, Cacnea, and a Mamoswine non holo rare. Okay. Another Crimson Invasion. This is Skullamance. type let's do it oh metal next time hakamo o Hilliswine, Mankey, jangmo o carablast salandit phoebus shellos and a star me non holo rare all right crimson invasion was trash let's move on to sun and moon base which you know i think because it's an older box and set Let's say booster box, the price is going up. But the set really isn't anything special. I mean, it's kind of fun to open if you haven't opened it before. But there's nothing too crazy in this set. With modern, you know, base sets, that kind of seems to be the case. And kind of got to wait for those subsets to make something really special out of a, uh, a generation these days. Yeah, as you can see, it's a lot of trash making, this, this hobby. Sometimes I have a bag nearby, sometimes I don't. Um, Alright, we're going to do fire, because that's what this, this pack's about to be. Oh, now it's water. Okay. Charge your bug. Charging my laser. Prettier, Steeny, Sandigast, Eevee, Cabrawler. Rainy, Diglett, Carvana, na na na. Ooh, Gumshoe GX. It's uh, you know, probably not very expensive at all, but it's got texture to it, which is always fun. Now we have Sword and Shield base set, which kind of follows what I just said about base sets is. They're not terribly eventful, but this one has some gold cards at least that are make up for the lack of, uh, or really just the make up for putting Wulu as a full art in this set. It's a sheep. It's made of 
Pokemon that's a sheep have like full art in this. Okay. Raboot. Rare candy. Lumberry. Sizzlipede. That's that's the sheep. Wooloo. Or like dub wool. It's evolution. Has like a V card. It's like okay. Crabby and Snorlax V Max. Yeah, the V-Maxes are the new style of Pokemon. And this card, I actually don't know if I've, I've probably pulled it like once, but I know I've actually paid for this card too, because I really wanted it. I just think it looks awesome. I paid like five bucks or something, but. That is a really nice card. Who doesn't love Snorlax? Okay, so one more Sword and Shield pack, then we got a Celestial Storm, and then we're going to finish the night with an Evolutions, which is the reprinting of a lot of the original arts. So yeah, there's a chance that we might pull this exact card, just you know, with a different date on the bottom, obviously. Alright, so let's guess... This was Sword and Shield, so I can't do Fairy. R.I.P. Um, I don't know. Water. Oh, there we go. Pat's on back. Snap them phalanges. Ride on. Big Charm. Silicobra. Flipbug. Goldeen. Yamps. Scroopy Noopers. Clobopus. And a Cinderace non hollow rare. Alright, so that was it for Sword and Shield. And we have a Celestial Storm. Which. Maybe there's a Rayquaza in? Not 100% sure. But it's still gonna be fun to find out. Bill's Maintenance. Russell hates focus. I usually don't have it on autofocus, but wanted to, you know, trust that my camera was going to do what I needed it to. But also, I'm not, you know, this isn't a thousand dollar camera like uh, some people have. Just a, the base Logitech. Lumas, Wismer, Trico. Just got two different Trico arts back to back. Kind of neat. Wismer, Voltorb, Metagross, and a Registeel non hollow rare. Alright. We're going into that last pack. Will it be magical because it's evolutions? And it's a Charizard art. Maybe we'll get something good. Maybe we won't. We'll see. But uh, congratulations again, Slapster, on winning the giveaway. Reach out to you for sure. Three cards for X and Y. Um, but yeah, let's hop into this last pack. Enjoy it. And then we'll all have sweet dreams tonight. Alright, we're starting off with a Haunter, which is just awesome. Love, love this art. Yeah, you're going to see a lot of familiar art. Pokedex. Slowbro, Spirit Link. Magnemite. I think I knew it. Voltorb, Sandshrew, Hollywag, Diglett. Alright, if there were secrets, I think we would have already gotten them, so. Reverse Holo Staryu. Okay. There's a Reverse Holo Charizard in here, which is really cool to get. And then. Ooh. Hate to see it as the last card. But sometimes that's how it happens. But. 
got a quick little review. Not much for the Pokemon side of things, but the Gumshoe GX, which came out of Sun Moon Base or something. I don't know. Very forgetful card. And we got the Snorlax VMAX, which this is awesome. Got a whole like ecosystem on his stomach. Oh, I just want to get a clear quality for y'all. But you kind of get the gist and you've seen the card before, I'm sure. And we got this super cool looking secret rare Black Luster Envoy of Beginning. Which, you know, it's not first edition, but it literally is like textured all throughout it. That is awesome. And we got the 100 Dragon Sealed Promo from the new box, which pretty badass looking it's got crossed arms you know maybe you could see it it's a camera oh there we go yeah he's got it's like an old dude just like staring at you crossed arms blowing smoke at you he's got the good stuff um and then we had that awesome binder which will give a little flash of that front page again which had some goods on it but that was super awesome very glad we got to check this out um, and yeah, I hope everyone has an awesome rest of the night. Thanks for joining. You know, like and subscribe if you want. No obligation. But it'd be cool because you're cool. And hope you have a great night. Peace.